I am Rashmi and welcome to Yoga Lattes with Rashmi. Today I have my beautiful mother with me again and we are going to do a workout for your brain and your spine. So any yoga practice that you do that involves your spine helps you to improve your spinal mobility and it will also help you to strengthen your back. We are also going to do a couple of exercises for your brain to just test your uh, skills with your hand-eye coordination and also some things with your face. So we're going to start with working on your head and your neck, move on to the rest of your spine and then we'll work on the brain exercises. So first we'll start with very simple, just raising your head up and looking up and then slowly looking down. Let's go. As you inhale, tilt your head up, exhale down. Keep going up and down and up and down and up and down. Keep going up and down and up and down two more inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down and slowly look straight next we're going to look from side to side as if you're saying no okay so you tilt your head to one side and then you come to the center tilt to the other side and center keep going one center two center three center four center five center six center seven center eight center nine center ten and come back to the center now we'll tilt your head from side to side like you touch your ear close to your shoulder so tilt your head to one side and then slowly come center tilt to the other side and come center. Keep going. Three and up. Four and up. Five and up. Six and up. Seven and up. Eight and up. Nine and up. Last one. Ten and up. Very good. Next, we're going to work on rotation, but we're going to do half circle. So you look down with your head. And we'll just go towards the right side and to the left side, just making half a circle. Whenever you're ready, let's go. Slowly going up and down. Up and down. Up and down. You can keep your eyes closed and do this. Just focus on your neck. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And down last two times up and down last time up and down now come back to the center and now we'll do the backward rotation so we'll just go from back to center and back to center so look up with your head and let's move to the side and center to the side and center making a half circle and center to the side and center keep going side and center side and center side and center side last two times side and center one last time and center come back to the center now we're going to do the whole circle so we'll do the whole circle five times on one side and then we will do five times on the other side so first start with looking down with your head and then slowly as you inhale move up and to the back and slowly come down keep going two to the back and slowly come down and three to the back and slowly come down and four to the back and slowly come down and five to the back and slowly come down and we'll reverse doing the other side going up to the back and slowly come down and two to the back and slowly come down and three to the back and slowly come down and four to the back and slowly come down one last time and five to the back and slowly come down very nice and let's look straight 
Now we're going to do a forward and backward bending movement. So anything that involves the spine, it's important to move it in all directions to improve your spinal strength. So we'll first start with, you can keep your legs down on the floor if you're sitting on a chair. We're going to tilt your head up and look up. And then as you exhale, you bend forward and bend down. If you need to increase the distance between your legs, you can. And we'll keep going. Inhale, come up, look up, exhale, going down. Inhale, two, and up, exhale, down. Inhale, three, look up, exhale, down. Inhale, four, look up. Exhale down, inhale five, look up, exhale down, inhale six, look up, exhale down, last two, inhale seven, look up, exhale down, inhale eight, look up, exhale slowly come down, and slowly come back to the center and come back to a seated position. Very good. Now we'll work on twisting and stretching your spine. So we'll first twist from side to side and then we'll stretch from side to side. And we'll keep repeating the same movement. So first start to twist to one side, place one hand on the opposite knee. You can hold the chair at the back, twist, come center, twist to the other side, come center, and then we'll move your body from side to side. Stretch to the side, come center, stretch to the other side, come center, and we'll continue to twist. Ready? Let's try. So we'll first twist, twist, come center, and twist, come center, stretch sideways, stretch, and center, and stretch. Again, twist, twist, and center, and twist and center stretch sideways and center stretch and center twist again twist and center and twist and center stretch sideways come center side one last time twist and center and twist and center stretch to the side and center to the other side, slowly come back to the center. Very nice. So what we have done, we did forward and backward movement. We did side to side stretching and side to side twisting. Next, what we're going to do is working on the stretching of your spine forward and back with the cat cow pose. So you place your palms on your knees. You're just going to push your chest out, look up with your head and then pull your chest in and look down. Keep going, inhale, look up, chest out, exhale, look down, inhale, chest out, look up, exhale, down, inhale, look up, chest out, exhale, down, inhale, look up, chest out, exhale, down, two more times, inhale, look up, chest out, exhale, down, one last time, inhale, look up, chest out, exhale, come down. Let's come back to the center. We have one last movement before we move on to our brain exercise. So you're going to place your ankle up on your knee and then you place one hand on your knee and one hand on your ankle. We're just going to slowly bend forward and then slowly come back up. You'll also feel a stretch on the back of your leg, which is on your glute. Yeah. As you exhale, going down, one, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, exhale as you go down, five, and up, and relax. Let's switch legs, do the same thing with your other leg, place one hand on your ankle, one hand on your knee, and let's try exhale, going down. One, up, two, and up, three, up, four, and up, last one, five, 
and up. Very nice. Okay, now that we've finished working on our spine, we'll work on your brain. Okay, so we'll first start with the coordination exercise with your eyes and your tongue. So you have to move your eyes to one side and your tongue to the other side and then keep switching. Shall we try? Let's go. Move your eyes to one side, tongue to the other and keep switching. She stopped and she's looking at me, I can make out. She's doing it Okay, so next exercise that we're going to do is a hand-eye coordination exercise. So you look at your fingers, close it in a fist. Now you're going to open the thumb of one hand and the little finger of the other hand. And then you close it and open the thumb of the other and the little finger of the other. And we keep trying to switch. Thumb little finger, thumb little finger, thumb little finger, thumb little finger. Thumb, little finger, thumb, little finger. <laughs> now my turn to check if she's doing it correctly. Thumb, little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb, little finger, thumb, little finger. You should be able to do this without the need to look at your hand. Start happening. So if you're able to do this easily, then you try to increase the pace. If you're not able to do this easily, keep practicing, it'll happen. Okay, so we are going to leave you at this. You can keep practicing and let's see if you are able to raise your thumb and your little finger. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have lots more in the Yoga for Elderly series. You can check out the playlist below that has all the videos that I've done with both my grandmoms and my mom. And uh, remember to subscribe to Yoga Lattes with Rashmi and we'll see you soon. Bye.